now we find out uh, the derivative of inverse uh, inverse trigonometric, uh, trigonometric functions. Uh, from the last video, we know that if y equals the inverse function of x, uh, f, then we have dy over dx, that is 1 over the derivative of fy, that is 1 over f, the derivative of f, but the uh, variable is the inverse function of f, inverse function of fx. Now we use this formula to derive the derivative of inverse trigonometric functions. The first one is if y equals the inverse sine x, then d then fx that is sine x so dy over dx is 1 over sine 1 over sine y the derivative of sine y that is 1 over cosine y but the independent variable is x so we need to change back uh, to x that is 1 over cosine the inverse sine x. We know that sine inverse sine that is x. So we need to change uh, either the cosine to be sine or the inverse sine to be uh, inverse of cosine. But, but it's much easier to change cosine to be sine. We know that cosine square x, cosine x square, that is 1 minus sine x square. That means cosine x, that is square root 1 minus sine x square. So we use this formula. Of course, we only use this formula uh, to, to the uh, monitor intervals because the inverse function should be one to one. Okay, now cosine is square root one minus sine square. So uh, that is one over square root one minus sine square then sine inverse x. Now sine and uh, inverse sine should be x. Should it? So we have this formula. The derivative of inverse sine function is 1 over square root 1 minus x square. And if y equals inverse cosine, we have dy by dx, dy by dx, that is 1 over cosine y, the derivative, that is 1 over negative sine y. Use this the same uh, equation sine square x that is sine x is square root 1 over cosine square so that is one of negative 1 over square root 1 minus cosine y square because y is the uh, inverse of cosine. That is 1 over x squared. I can write, I'll, I'll 
one more step cosine square that's inverse cosine okay cosine and uh, inverse cosine composite to be just the x so that is a negative 1 over square root 1 minus x square and 4 if y equals tangent inverse then dy dx that is 1 over uh, secant y square but we know that secant x squared that is one over uh, one plus tangent square is this identity so that is one over uh, one plus tangent square y but y is inverse or tangent so the result that is 1 over 1 plus x squared that's the tangent inverse that's the cosine inverse the derivative of cosine inverse last one if y is cotton the inverse then dy over dx that is negative actually we can write it as one as negative cosecant y square and uh, cosecant square x that is one plus cotangent square so that is negative 1 over 1 plus cotangent y square that is negative 1 plus x square 1 over 1 plus x square so we've got the four formula Now we summary. Summary it. The sine inverse function, derivative of inverse sine, that is 1 over square root 1 minus x square. And the cosine inverse function, the derivative of cos, uh, uh, inverse cosine, that is the negative 1 over square root 1 minus x square. And derivative of inverse tangent function that is 1 over 1 plus x square and uh, the derivative of cotangent inverse cotangent x that is negative 1 plus x square Okay, we find there, there is a pattern that for any co cosine, cotangent, cosecant, the derivative, no matter as inverse or uh, the original function, there is negative sign. We know that cosine x, the derivative of cosine x, that is negative sine x. And the derivative of cotangent x, that is negative uh, cosecant square x. For co, there is always a negative sign. Now we have the uh, derivative of inverse trigonometric functions. So we can use those formula to find out some 
the derivative of some functions. For example, the sine uh, negative uh, uh, inverse sine x squared, the derivative. That is, we can use the chain rule. That is 1 minus x4, x to the 4, then that is 2x. Because we can set u as x squared. And uh, if there's an inverse cosine log x, the derivative for this one. Use the chain rule. First, we have negative 1 over square root 1 minus log x square times 1 over x because here we can set u equals log x use the chain rule okay mm. the tangent inverse here's e of x this derivative of this function that is 1 plus uh, 1 over 1 plus e x square e x square that is e of 2x times e x that is e of x to the uh, over 1 plus e to the 2x equals uh, log inverse cosine x find dy over dx use chain rule dy over dx first we uh, will the the term in the parenthesis that as a whole that is one over that is log u log u so that is the uh, one over u times the derivative uh, of u with respect to x that's negative one minus x square so that is negative 1 over inverse cosine x times square root 1 minus x square. Mm. Yeah, that's that's uh, the derivatives of inverse trigonometric functions. We can use uh, those formula as a basic as basic formula those formula can be used can be used directly 